Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. To begin with, the Kiwi dollar still holds to its negative bias since the recent break of 72.75. But the downside objective is still holding for the start of this week at 71 figure 20. It is likely that uh, any fresh gains should not sustain towards 72.40. If you're trading this from a um, from a negative point from the break, it is recommended that we lower the stop losses just in case we get a whipsaw price action to the upside. However, overall, I still look towards that downside and eventually take on the challenge of 71 figure 20 and reassess from there. The Australian dollar is attempting to make a recovery from Friday after the five days of weakness rebounds from that 75 1995 bullish, uh, bearish trigger. In light of the pattern, I still view towards 77 cents as a, uh, as a negative or a supply zone and see a rejection from there and look back towards the downside. Now a break of 75.90 would give further exposure to 75.30 and lower towards 74.80.90 and reassess from there. With the dollar strength returning on Friday, the euro is now threatening the downside further with the target coming in now at 105.70.85. Now a break beneath there would give further exposure towards 104.55.70 and to the objective of the near 14 year low of 103.4065 and reassess from there. Resistance on the day still capped since Friday of 107.05.15. A stronger start for Dolly Yen this morning as the market breaks recently broke above that 112.60 level, re-challenges that level of 113.85.95 and drop back. However, from the strength of this morning and the gap open is the fact that we could see a break above that uh, 113.95 level and support a further case to the upside. If we look at the dailies, the resistance now comes in at 115.5055 if we see a break of 95, which is near enough on the cards now after seeing an 86 high. Support on the day comes in at uh, 112.95 and firmer at 112.50. Well, the sterling is breaking down to the further this from Friday and is likely to continue this week. I am looking for a move through 124.45 to 123.80 and then from 123.80 break is further exposure to the target 121 region. Resistance on the day is seen at 125.55 to 126.05.15. And to wrap up with gold, the market um, has initially respected the support of 12.22. However, I expect to see further weakness returning and break beneath that level and look towards the region of either 1206 or to 1188 and reassess from there. Resistance on the day comes in at 38 and firmer from the recent challenge of 46 to cap for, uh, for, to continue to cap for the rest of, for the remaining of this week. So sell into strength and look for the break of 22. So that's a wrap for the day. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for my interstate report that will be released very shortly.